We're following a developing story out of Mountain View. That's where a San Diego police officer was shot earlier today, which led to an hours long standoff. Police say that that officer was involved in a stolen car chase before the 21 year old suspect, Andrew Garcia, prompted a more than nine hour standoff. Fox 5's Misha DeBono shows us what happened. You know, when it was about 1.20 this morning when I got the call of 1199 officer down. San Diego Chief of Police David Neslight emotional while providing an update on a young officer shot multiple times during a police pursuit in Mountain View. When you talk about, and I'm going to get emotional, I'm sorry for that, but when you talk about tactical medicine and the fact that our officers are trained in tactical medicine and we're able to apply a tourniquet, but I also want to talk about one round striking the vest. Um, and that vest most likely saving our officer's life. The chief declined to provide details to protect the privacy of the officer, his wife and young children, but did say he has only been on the force for under two years. The incident started around 1230 on Monday. Officers were trying to pull over a driver for a stolen vehicle. After an hours long pursuit, this guy ditched his car near 45th and Logan and then took off on foot. The officers gave chase and that's when the suspect opened fire, hitting the young officer multiple times. The suspect then barricaded himself inside a home in the 1000 block of South 44th Street, where a SWAT standoff ensued for the next nine hours. I want to talk about the phenomenal work that our SWAT team did, whether it be flashbangs, uh, gas, explosive breaching. Again, this is an individual that just shot a police officer. Uh, so obviously considered armed and dangerous, uh, but our SWAT team along with their star medics did a phenomenal job. Neslight did not provide any suspect information other than the weapon recovered is a ghost gun. When SWAT finally entered the home, which was vacant, they found the suspect unconscious, believed to be overdosing, and they administered Narcan, likely saving his life. Extraordinary effort by the law enforcement. Imagine being in a situation where you shoot a police officer and the officers then turn around and make sure that this person gets the health care that they need. That's the level of humanity that our department displays on a daily basis. Misha DeBono, Fox 5 News.